So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to make ourselves a new Django um, application that's using forms. And we're only going to use a part of forms for this particular video. Um, in some of the upcoming videos, we're going to be doing more and more stuff with these forms. But I just wanted to take you all through the build process um, just so you can kind of see how it works and see how all the files fit together. So at this point, we should be pretty comfortable with all the Django admin, startup project, whatever product name, make a directory for apps, touch that init file, um, make yourself a new app in there, get up the settings set up, um, yada yada. But I'm going to do it. All right, so Django admin. Um, form 10. I'm going to mutter to myself because you guys don't need to see this, but um, so CD apps, touch init. Then we're going to go up and go Python, pop that slash, manage pi, and then start app and um, form test, cool, and then c dot dot ls um, atom dot. At this point, we should be good to get our project up and running. And I'm going to copy some stuff from the platform as well to make things a little bit faster. But you, I did want to show you guys kind of the overall setup. So settings.py, we want to say, hey, go get our form. So usual stuff. So apps dot form test. Comma. All right, so there's that part. Great. URLs. Um, we know how to use admin now, so we don't have to, to um, get rid of it anymore. I just didn't want people to get confused um, with multiple routes at the beginning before we kind of understood what was going on. So um, base route. And again, you could have made this thing like users or something. But in this case, we're just going to make it the base route and get it um, include um, apps.formtest.urls. Um, and we need to have include up here. Perfect. So let's just grab this stuff. Um, and then go over to our apps. Form test. New file. URLs.py. We don't need that. And we do need um, URL patterns. Equals this thing. And URL. And we're just going to do a blank core base URL. So Start of string, end of string, um, use dot index uh, name equals index. Since we know how to use named routes as well now, great. So there's that. Um, obviously, we're going to access this views. We need to have from dot import views, and good. All right. So now we need to do a couple things in our views. So our views, we need to make our def index. And we're going to take the request object. And we, then we're going to return and render a template. And we're going to re return and render that guy, request object. So we're going to be able to pass that around. Um, and then we're going to go into templates and then go to um, form test and then index.html. And we're going to pass over a context um, dictionary. Great. So we haven't built the form yet, but um, it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to say um, form, this variable, equals, let's call this thing registration form. We haven't declared this um, variable yet, and this variable is actually going to be a class invocation. So form is going to be an instance of this class. All right. So we've got that um, potentially coming. And then we need to have a context dictionary. And we're going to say my registration form as the key. My registration form is going to be a class, and it's going to be an instance of that form. So we're just going to be passing this instance to here, which is going to go to there, which is eventually going to our index.html location. So let's make our index.html new file templates slash first our form test. And then index.html. Cool. There's our index.html. And we're going to make it super simple. We're going to have a form. And it's going to have a class. Nah, we don't care what the class is. It's action. We're just going to send it back to the home page for now. Um, we're going to have to have a CSRF token in it. 
And normally what we'd be, we'd be doing at this point is being like, okay, so we're going to have these seven or eight different input fields for registration form. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to pass in and use that form element that we got over from our views. So it came over as my registration form, and we're just going to somehow magically get this thing to print out. So it's not really that magical, but there's our index form. Inside of our form, we also need to have one input field, which is going to be the submit button value equals register, since we're making this fake registration form. All right. Excellent. So here's what's gone on so far. And we haven't actually built everything out yet, but we have our URLs. We went to the blank URL after we went to the, the main URLs. We load this views.index as index. Um, those views run index. It creates this form class in, instance, so this registration form instance. And then we pass that thing over through the context dictionary as my registration form. Whatever that thing is, the invoked instance of it, comes over, shows up right here. So let's just change this action from that to URL quote index, right? So this is a named route. We can now access it by that. Cool. All right, so now making the form. So forms are usually kept in their own file just like URLs are kept in their own file and views are tested in their, kept in their own file and models are kept in their own file. New file, forms.py. All right. At this point, I'm just going to cruise back over to the platform and just copy the forms that we have. Sorry. Got a bunch of things open. Um, I'm just going to grab this whole code and pull it on in there. All right. So from Django, import forms. That's pretty straightforward. So forms is a Django class. Um, Pre-built, we're just accessing it. We're going to use forms.form from that class. And that allows us to access all of these different pieces. So we're going to create a first name, last name, email, password, and confirm password. Um, field. And these guys, these little underscores, get converted to spaces for the naming of the forms. All right, so we named this thing registration form, not register form. Um, and I think at this point we're actually pretty much done. Um, so we should be able to run our code um, and get it to work. So let's take a, take a run at that. So we're going to run our migrations. Um, just good, good practice. Um, Python manage pi, run server, and go to localhost. Oops, registration form is not defined. Um, so I probably mistyped something. So let's see where it's not defined at. Um, index line five. So let's go ahead and see why it's not defined. So in views.py, ah, look, we tried to access thing, but we hadn't actually gotten it. So we need to say, we've made this forms file now, so we say from dot forms import that particular class. So we're going forms. Cool. All right, so there's our server back up and running. And there's our form. Great. Let's play around with our form a little bit. So in our index.html, you can specify how it gets laid out as underscore p, for example. Um, as table. Drink. Um, as UL. Let's see. Wrong, wrong place. Cool. All right. So there's a bunch of different settings that you can set things up with. Um, and I think that's it. So go out and make yourself a form. Um, the next thing that we're going to be talking about is getting information back from our form and using this cool is valid strategy.